gracious, good morning traders. It's Monday, June 20th, 2011, Des here. Markets are down quite a bit. You can see the S&P down a half a percent and across the board. We have NASDAQ, Dow, everybody's down a half a percent. It looked like Europe is delaying their decision on bailing Greece out and is giving everybody the heebie-jeebies. So we get this gap down and um, we're basing sideways at this moment. Oh, another uh, point of news is crude oil is down to a four-month low. Not too shabby. We're starting to see that in gas prices as they start to subside a bit. And if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring in a lot of data here, and you see that we have this big monstrous falling wedge on the, the hourly S&P chart, which is a bullish formation. But you can't start playing bullish formations until after they come to fruition or they break out. And we're not even close to that at this moment. So what we're looking at here is a continuation making these new lows. You can see that we're starting to make these new lows. We're heading down, but we do have a big bullish divergence. So the question is, with this gap that we received today, Will we see that gap fill? Will we get to 127? And will 127 act as resistance? And will it retrace and head back south? So this is something we're going to need to watch today. But right now, as long as we're between this blue line and this blue line, <laughs> it's just for day traders. Uh, for swing traders, you need to be uh, protected in the markets and wait for a breakout or a break down to occur because these two lines are coming together a decision will be made sooner than later so when it comes to resistance areas be looking at these numbers here they have not been changed they are the same as Friday's and when it comes to support here are your numbers Take care and safe trading today.